Yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Louie here. Thank you for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this cash livery on the Landstalker XL. As you can see, you cannot go and purchase it anywhere. You have to glitch it out, alright? So I'm going to be showing you how to do that. We are going to be using our magic slot that is going to be located in our arcade. We're also going to be using the Landstalker in our arcade. And we're going to be using one special vehicle. Make sure to watch it to the end so I can show you what vehicle it is, alright? So I just called out my festival bus. You can only get the festival bus inside your garage with gift cards to friends, alright? Make sure you have a festival bus inside a garage. I called it out from garage number two. And I'm simply just going to go ahead and put it back into garage number two, alright? So this is completely solo. I'm in an invite only session. You don't need nobody to help you. Uh, none of that, alright? So it's a really good glitch. So just like I said, go ahead and put the party bus in the same garage you called it out from. Just like that. Garage number two is where it came from. I'm going to press pause, go online. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit creator. Wait on this quit screen until you hear no noise in the background, okay? So it usually takes about six to ten seconds. Then you're not going to be able to hear no noise in the background. Once you hear no noise, just go ahead and accept this quit alert. It's going to send you to creator mode, all right? We don't need nobody to start up tight of a job. Like I said, this is completely solo. And by the way, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is a glitch channel right here. I post sort of daily, you know, glitch content on GTA. But yeah, if you're new, welcome and subscribe if you don't mind. And make sure you don't leave without hitting the bell notification. All right, so once you're in creator, we're going to load up another invite-only session. All right? You could either do it on a close friends, invite-only, public. It doesn't matter, really. You're doing it by yourself. That is all that matters, okay? So, um... It is good to have your spawn location to the LS car meet. Um, it works a little bit better. I've been trying it. I tried it earlier, and I didn't have my spawn location here, and it wasn't working for me, all right? So maybe it will work if you just have it set to the LS customs, or what do you call it? The LS car meet, sorry. As you can see, I'm going to spawn up right here in the LS car meet. Once you load in, you should spawn with that party bus. Uh, I know there's a different method to, to glitch out like this without the party bus. Um, but for now, I'm just going to be showing you the party bus method, okay? So we, sp we spawned up right here at the LS car meet. Inside of here, your party bus should be inside. All you want to do is register as an MC and return it. Or you can just go ahead and hit your interaction menu, go to vehicles, and return personal vehicle, okay? As you can see right here, I'm going to go down this aisle. And it's going to let me return this party bus. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in here. Once you return that party bus, if it doesn't spawn for you, then you just go ahead and go to the next step. You're going to call your mechanic. All you want to do is request a vehicle, okay? Any vehicle will work. I'm going to go ahead and just call any some, random huh? vehicle. Any rides? Let me know. All right, just any vehicle will work. It's on the way. It doesn't have to be modded. Just, you know, whatever. Just go ahead and call it up. It should pop up any second now. All right, spawned up over there. I'm just going to go ahead and go to it. So we have to go around all this stuff right here. In the meantime, if you could drop a like, let's try to reach at least 40 likes on this video. That'd be really appreciated. All right, right here is my car. Called up any random car. Go ahead and get in it. Press Y or triangle. From here, we're going to show the vehicle options by pressing X. Then we're going to hit B to exit. LS Carmi, okay. Once you press B to exit LS Carmi, start spamming right on D-pad all the way through until you're outside, okay. So spam right on D-pad, spam right on D-pad. Once we're outside and you do not reverse and you're like this, we're gonna go ahead and just try again, okay. So go ahead and pull up in there. This time we're gonna be spamming right on D-pad really fast. Make sure you're hitting the button all the way down when you're spamming it. It helps a lot, and like I said, it helps if you uh, have your spawn location to the LS Carmi. So let's just uh, go ahead and pull up again. No problem. Just go ahead and try again. If you just try and try again, it still doesn't work. I don't know a lot of PS4 players can't do this glitch, but I have seen a PS4 YouTuber upload it, so I don't know what the deal is. Let's just try again. Hop out of that vehicle. We're going to press X, show vehicle options, exit. And as soon as you press exit, go ahead and start spamming right on D-pad, right on D-pad really fast. And make sure you're hitting that button all the way down, okay? So spam it, spam it, spam it. All the way into your outside. Spam it. Keep spamming it right there. Boom. All right. That is what we're looking for. That glitched out screen is going to put you back into the LS car meet just like that in reverse. From here, all you got to do is do nothing. Just go ahead and exit by pressing B and A to exit the LS car meet. It should spawn you outside with a brick vehicle. Brick means you cannot move. All right. If you hit the gas, 
it will not go nowhere if you hit reverse it will not go nowhere if it is bricked it is glitched out that is what we're looking for so from here i'm gonna go ahead and uh, job teleport to my arcade like i said in my arcade i got my magic slot i got my land stalker and i'm also going to be using a pr4 that is a f1 vehicle all right if you're just trying to pull the livery off of it to get that dollar livery you don't need to have it modded but the rims will not transfer and it is better to have your last stalker modded and your pr4 modded all right just to have that good full modded effect if not you're just gonna have a regular car with delivery which is pretty cool you know if you don't uh, mind not being modded but i'm just showing you that uh, it will work right now all right just go ahead and pay attention all right so i job teleported to the uh, arcade let's just go ahead and get inside and make sure you have everything ready already uh, set to go so we can go ahead and start glitching because we already glitched out and you wouldn't want to do all that stuff while you're glitched out okay right here i hit my xbox button so it just like took me out but it's all good but just go ahead and enter your arcade i'm gonna cut it a little bit just so it won't be that long all right here we are inside our arcade garage in this corner i got my magic slot which is that car right here this yellow one I got that PR4, which is that F1 vehicle, and I got my Landstalker. As you can see, this Landstalker is modded, but it doesn't have any livery, okay? It doesn't have any hidden livery. So this is the PR4 that we're going to be using to take all the mods off of and transfer the secret hidden livery. So first step in, uh, first step is when you're inside your arcade is hop in your magic slot. Go ahead and pull it out. Pretty simple. Just get in it, hit the gas. As you can see, this is my fully working magic slot. The plate went blank. Hop in it, I mean, yeah, hop in it, and go ahead and leave it outside. Now we're going to go ahead and go back inside our arcade, okay? So all we got to do is leave that magic slot outside and go back inside to your arcade. Once we're in our arcade, we're going to be getting into our Landstalker XL, okay? We're going to be making a duplicate copy. Um, it's going to transfer over to our magic slot. Okay, so go ahead and just pay attention. All right, so here I am. Let's go ahead and get inside the Landstalker XL. And once you're inside the Landstalker, press right on D-pad. You should get a bugged out screen like if we're under the map. And it should give you the name of the car in the bottom right corner. From here, go ahead and change up anything on the Landstalker. It doesn't matter what. Go ahead and exit. You should get another bugged out screen under the map. We're good to go. Let's just go ahead and wait. Give it about four to five seconds. It'll give you a black screen, and then right there, we're back inside our arena, I mean our arcade. Go ahead and hop out of the Landstalker, go to vehicles, and return personal vehicle. And boom, right there, we got a copy of this Landstalker on top of our magic slot, all right? So hop in our new magic slot, go ahead and drive it out. We're going to do the same thing, okay? Drive it out. All right, just give it a little bit, drive it out, and we're going to leave it on the street as well, okay? Nothing special, it's real easy. I'm trying to make it sound complicated, but it's really, real easy, all right? <laughs> all right, go back inside your arcade. Okay, go back into your arcade. I should have cut it right here, because really sometimes I really don't know what to be saying. You know, just, you know, go in your arcade, nothing, nothing more to say while I wait in that cutscene. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go over here. Now this time we're going to be getting inside our PR4, our Progen PR4, which is an F1 vehicle. Hop in it. All this, these rims, the plate, everything is going to transfer over to our magic slot. Hop into that Progen PR4, press right on D-pad. It should put you under the map, kind of bugged out. From here, we're going to go to liveries. Make sure you got this last livery that is number 11, okay? Once you press that livery, Change up something on the car, doesn't really matter, an exhaust. But make sure that livery is on number 11. Once you do that, go ahead and disconnect your internet by going to your settings on your Xbox network settings and hit go offline. Give it about two, three seconds and just go ahead and hit go online. It's gonna send you to story mode, come back to GTA online. As you can see, boom, right there, we got that money livery on our Landstalker XL. We got those rims from that Pro Gym PR4, which look pretty good in my opinion. All right, so that is how you do it. Now, to keep this vehicle, because once you exit GTA, this vehicle will revert back to stock since it's your magic slot. Go ahead and duplicate it the same way we just did. 
or you could use the auto shop duplication method that is still working here on GTA 5 online or you could just go ahead and give it to a buddy all right your buddy's gonna hold it give it back to you when you want it you know just go ahead and give it to somebody because this copy is just gonna last until the meantime all right so yeah the magic slot it just holds the mods for a, like a real uh, temporary temporary time all right it doesn't really hold them for that long when you exit gta everything goes back to stock except the color of the car but yeah if you like this video like this type of content go ahead and subscribe see you on the next one